modem. Modem is an networking device that enables a computer to send and receive data over the telephone and the cable lines. We know that the data understood by the computer is digital whereas the phone line or cable wire can only transmit analog data. Therefore, the modem plays vital role to convert digital signal into analog and analog signal into digital. Modem is a combination of two devices. One is modulator and other one is demodulator. When the data is being sent by the computer across the network, then the modulator converts digital data into analog data as only the analog signal can transfer through the telephone line or cable wire. When the data is being received by the computer over the network, then the demodulator converts analog signals into digital data because our computer understands only digital data. Types of modem let us discuss different types of modem one by one. In several ways the modem can be categorized such as type of connections to be transmission line, direction in which modem can transmit data, transmission mode and there are many more ways to categorize the functionalities of modem. Let us discuss about some very common types of modem. Those are used in our regular life depending on direction of the data transmission. Simplex modem. The simplex modem can transfer data in only one direction that is either from digital device to network setup using the modulator process that is digital data into analog signal or from the network setup to the digital device using the demodulator mechanism uh, that is analog signal to digital data. Therefore, the simplex modem cannot work with both modulator and demodulator. That is why it does not support two-way conversations. Half duplex modem. The half duplex modem can transfer data in both directions from digital device to network setup using the modulator process that is digital data into analog signal and from the network setup to the digital device using the demodulator mechanism that is analog signal to digital data. Therefore, the half duplex modem can work with both modulator and demodulator. That is why it supports two-way conversation, but it performs only one process at a time. Other process will not start its operation unless the current process is fully completed. The example of a half duplex modem is walkie-talkie. We have observed that traffic police use walkie-talkie to control traffic regulation in road. In walkie-talkie, two traffic officers cannot participate together at same time. One officer has to wait until the other officer completes sending verbal message. Full duplex modem the full duplex modem is different from the half duplex modem. It can transmit data in both directions simultaneously. At same time, unlike the half duplex modem that we have discussed before, it transmits data from digital device to network setup using the modulator process that is digital data into analog signal and from the network setup to the digital device using the demodulator mechanism that is analog signal to digital data. Therefore, the full duplex modem can work with both modulator and demodulator as same as 
in the half duplex modem that is why it support two way conversation but it performs both process simultaneously at same time unlike the half duplex modem where in half duplex modem other process has to wait unless the current proportion is fully completed the example of the full duplex modem is a telephone call where both parties can communicate at the same time across different part of the world whereas in half duplex if we compare with a walkie talkie conversation where two parties wait for their turns to come for speaking to each other